So let's take a quick look at Chaturanga Dandasana, this posture that we do many, many times in our practice. First of all, the meaning of Chaturanga Dandasana is Chatur means four. So we are basically holding our body in our four limbs, our hands and our feet. Dandasana means something like a, like a stick in a straight line. So we're gonna basically lower down in a straighter line as we can. How do we do that? Not, not arching or not bringing the hips up. We have to start with a nice setup and some things in mind. So let's start. Remember your cam cow again. So let's start with cat, rounding the back. Second, look at my shoulders, pushing the floor away. Suck the belly in and take a step back. Right now, my shoulders are on top of my wrists. If this is the first time that you're trying Chaturanga Dandasana, keep the knees down. Otherwise, stay with the knees up. I'm gonna try the beginner version. Then you're gonna look forward. You're still pushing the floor, sucking the belly, and we're gonna lean, go forward. Now here, we're gonna bring our shoulders back, not forward, but back. From there, you're gonna lower down slowly with the belly in, take the breath, and you can go all the way down. Okay, second version, again, from cat and cow. Start with the cat. Now push, push, push the floor firmly down. Suck the belly. We're gonna keep the knees down again. Look forward, lean forward, get the belly in, lower down slowly. And if this is possible, tuck the toes here. This is your chaturanga and then slowly come all the way down. Okay. So third version. Top of the toes. Starting your cat and cow. Go your, to your cat. Push the floor away. Suck the belly in. Bring the feet. Right now, shoulder is on top of the wrist. Look forward. Slowly, slowly, lean forward, shoulders go back, elbows close to my ribs, and this is my Chaturanga Dandasana. So, we have to be careful and not bringing, while lowering down, I'm not bringing the shoulders forward. Try to keep them back all the time, it's, way harder, but we will build the strength slowly, slowly. Try to keep them back. Long neck, think of a straight line. Think of slightly sucking the belly, the ribs, your hips will want to go up. Just try to find a more natural position. Um, it is a combination of strength of biceps, triceps, shoulders, core, it's a lot of things, but it'll come. And we have plenty of Chaturanga Dandasanas in our practice. So just keeping those things in mind, leaning forward, elbows in, long spine, ribs in, belly in, and lowering down slowly. One good exercise that you can do. So it's leaning forward and hold your plank for five breaths, five times. Keeping the ribs in, leaning forward. Try to remember all the steps. So I'm pushing the floor away. I'm leaning forward. I'm trying to find a straight line. I'm breathing nice and easy. And then release and relax in your child's pose. So do that five times, starting with two, three breaths, and maybe five breaths, and uh, we will 
get used to that movement and building the strength. I hope some of these ideas help you get into your Chaturanga easier. And um, see you soon.